I think an appropriate project today is to try some DC welding with solar panels. I've got a bunch of these 395 watt solar panels sitting here, working on selling some of them. Some of them I want to install on the roof. Some of them are project panels because they're damaged. And I don't really want to put those on a roof. But today, can we do some arc welding, some stick welding? So first I need to get some wires set up with MC4 connectors. What I'm gonna do is run a bunch of parallel solar panels. These are 49 volt open circuit um, panels, which from what I understand is a good voltage for DC welding. But I need to get up into the probably 50 to 150 amp range and each of these panels gives me 10 amps. So I think I might start with five panels, four or five panels and see how that goes. And then uh, maybe if I get enough gumption, I can do 10 panels and see how well I can arc with that. All right, here we go. So I'm just getting some 14 gauge wire here. This is only running the 10 amps and it's not for extended periods of time. I think 14 gauge would be perfectly sufficient. Do some 12 foot lengths and get my handy stripper out here and do some stripping that's appropriate for the MC4 connectors, which is just a tad of copper left on there. And then the other end, I'll give it a good inch or two since this will be just clamped onto something. So this would be the negative side. And how I remember this is because you've got two different terminals that go inside the MC4. Um, the small connector as opposed to the big fat one, right? Small connector has the fat terminal inside. So I'll take this fat terminal. Um, you're rolling away from me there, sir. All right, and these are my MC4 crimpers. Um, these are, I'm going for the four millimeter is the ones that I've got. I pulled the, uh, the tabs in here just a little bit because a lot of times they're too wide. Set this up in my crimper before I mess with the wire at all. Get that in there a little bit. And then I just stick my wire in and crimp. And that gives me a beautiful fold over crimp. It's nice and tight. And then we'll just stick this on here. And you can tell when it clips in because it doesn't come back out. And then just screw this in for the watertight piece. Um, watertight piece, this 14 gauge is just on the verge. I, I really like the way that the 10 gauge fits in these. And if I was going for a permanent install, I might just do 10 gauge just because it's not that much more expensive. But I had this roll of 14 gauge sitting here and it'll work fine for what I'm doing today. The grab on the waterproof piece here isn't as great as I would like it to be if this was a permanent install. All right, so now let's grab our other end here and then do this a few more times to get us, we'll go with five cables for now. And see what that does for welding. Something else to keep a mind of is for the larger end, you'll notice that, I mean, for anything that I'm doing with these MC4s, I'm keeping the wire, the exposed wire nice and short. And that's because when I first started out, I left it long and it came up into the connector itself. And when you do that, it can get in the way um, when you go to plug in the connectors and not go in all the way. So. There's a reason for some of my madness. All right, now that we've got some cables, let's go outside and set up some solar panels.
Moment of truth, can we weld? Safety first. So something that would help is if I plugged in all of the panels instead of only one of them being plugged in. Now we've got five panels. These panels are rated about 10 amps a piece. So if the sun rolls out behind the clouds, rolls out from behind the clouds, we'll have 50 amps at about 49 volts open circuit. So let's see what we get. Sun's out full blast. All right, so I was able to pull a bead, but not as reliably as I'd like to. Granted, I'm new to the stick welding thing, so maybe that's the problem. Let me add a couple more panels. Let's go to 70 amps and see what happens then. It's a little harder than just turning a knob to 70 amps, huh? All right, so now we've got seven panels. That should be 70 amps worth. Eh, we'll lose a few on those cracked panels. I think they were measuring about 80% efficiency when I was testing them the other day. Let's see what we got now. enough to blow a hole. And that is how you arc weld with just solar panels and a rod. Hope you enjoyed that. Y'all have fun today.